In the Old Covenant, the temple was a physical building. It was a holy place, the dwelling place for God on earth. In the temple, people could worship God and God could speak to them. Because God is holy and good and pure, everything that entered the temple also had to be clean and pure. Now in the New Covenant, instead of having a physical building as a temple, the Holy Spirit dwells in us people, that is, in Jesus' disciples. When we repent and are cleansed from our sins and start living for God, following Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes to us. From then on, it becomes like it says in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19, Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? In this verse, we're told that we are now the dwelling place for the Holy Spirit here on earth. That means that we have become that holy place. And from that point, our body is not our own to do with what we will, but we are to be led and guided by the Holy Spirit to do God's will, so we do not fulfill our lusts and desires. Then the Spirit helps us by first showing us what needs to be cleansed out from the flesh, and then giving us the power we need to overcome those lusts in the flesh. The Holy Spirit should be totally in charge of our lives. We have to commit ourselves to 100% obedience to His leading. He isn't just a guest who comes and goes according to our own whims and will. This is serious because Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 3 verse 17, If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. The temple is defiled or becomes impure if we deliberately let in sin by giving in to our lusts. Then we also quench the Spirit. He won't stay where there's disobedience, where he's ignored and impurity is allowed to live. He can't live with impurity. No, when we have the Holy Spirit, then we must walk in the Spirit, so we do not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. As long as we're doing this, the Spirit will always remain with us and dwell in us as our comforter, guide and help. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Bible Quotes Explained. Check out our channel for more Christian content. We've got music, sermons, our podcasts, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let us know how we're doing by leaving us a comment.